Hey guys, Danny here, just coming at you with another recap video going over what we spoke about this Sunday. This Sunday we continue our series, No Place Like Home. It's our week two of this series and the message title was, A Place to Kick Your Feet Up. What if church felt like that? Like a place that you felt so comfortable that you can be you. We looked at Acts chapter 2 verse 44 which said this, Now all the believers were together and held all things in common. As I read this verse, you know, the wheels in my head began to jog and I asked myself, what were these things that the church had in common? There's three things that we spoke about. There's these three things that the early church had in common that we all share as well. And it's because we have these things in common that church can be like family. In fact, our big idea this Sunday was this. We may impress others with our strengths, but we connect with each other through our weakness. And there's these three things that the early church had in common that I believe we all share as well. And it is because of this that we can make church a place to kick your feet up. The first thing we spoke about the early church having in common that we have in common too is this, that we have all sinned. In fact, Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says that we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That's something that we all share in common. Now listen, I don't care if you're a brand new Christian or just kicking the tires of Christianity or if you're a long-term Christian been in the faith for a long time. This is something that we all share. We have all sin and sin. And that is something that we all have in common. And what it means is that when you come to church, you don't have to feel better than or less than because it's something that we all have in common, that we all fall short of God's glorious standard. And because of that, we are all deserving of God's punishment and wrath because of our sin. This is something that we all have in common. The second thing that we mentioned that the early church has in common, that we all do as well, is that we are all broken. You see, that sin causes brokenness. Now listen, you don't have to look very far to see that there's brokenness all around you. In fact, all you have to do is flip through your Facebook feed or turn on the news or radio and you know that there's brokenness all around us. And that brokenness happens because of sin. There's brokenness between us and God, our relationship with God, which is, should have been a perfect union, perfect unity, perfect relationship with God is broken because of sin. And it also happens in our relationship with one another. Our relationship to each other is broken because of sin. The early church had this in common and we share all this as well. But it is that brokenness that we all share that places us in the perfect place for God to come and do a great restoring work in us. See, because we all share that brokenness, God is the great mender through Jesus who is the glue that can put all these broken pieces together and make us into a beautiful work of art. The third thing that we mentioned that we all have in common, that the early church had in common as well, is this, is that we are all on a journey. We're all on a journey. Now listen, some of us are in the beginning of that spiritual journey, or maybe you're just kicking the tires of Christianity. You don't quite know what to believe. Or maybe you're just a new Christian. You just recently surrendered your life to Jesus, so you just got baptized. Or listen, or maybe you're a, a Christian that's been in the faith for a long time, and you have Christian t-shirts, you drink out of a Christian mug, and go to Christian concerts. No matter where you are, we are all on a spiritual journey. And that means that this is something that we all share in common. It means that when you go to church on Sunday, you don't have to look at the person next to you and feel bad thinking that they're some sort of spiritual giant. It also means that you don't have to think of yourself as much and stick your nose in the air thinking that you're ahead of the persons next to you. You see, we're all on a spiritual journey. We all share that in common. And it is because of all these things that we have in common, because we all fall short and we're all sinners, and that sin brings brokenness. And because we're all on a spiritual journey, we share all these things in common. It is because of that, that church can be a place to kick your feet up. You can be you. I hope you guys enjoyed this recap video. Be sure to join us this Sunday as we continue our series, No Place Like Home.